All right, so far, every time that we wanted to generate a new token, we kept sending the credentials using the password grant here with a username and password and a client and secret ID. And that is not very handy because uh, that's what you want to avoid at all cost, if possible, is to uh, send the credentials. You only send them when you have no other uh, no other way out. So we said that uh, you get from the password grant at least, and some other grants do that as well. You get also refresh token, and uh, there is special grant called the refresh token grant that will take a refresh token, and in exchange it will give you an access token and a new refresh token. So um, uh, what's the use of this? Because if the access token is expired and that's when you will need to refresh your token, you keep using the same access token over and over again and then at some point it expires. Uh, usually uh, you will set the expire time not to uh, this big of a number, but maybe to 10 seconds or maybe to 15 or a minute yeah, uh, it's on that range. So, uh, what do you do when uh, your token expires? Uh, you use the refresh token, which expires way later than that, and uh, you use it to get a new access token and a new refresh token. And the new refresh token that you will get will uh, will get the extended expire time. So, as long as the cycle keeps. Uh, keeps moving so you keep using the refresh token to get a new access and a refresh token you will never need to send your username and password your credentials again um, but if uh, by some reason your um, iOS Drupal development app doesn't you doesn't get used that much with OAuth uh, then at any point you can just uh, reprompt the user for the username and password and send it along to get the new token. So uh, how do you refresh the token? So there is a grant and uh, you access it just like any other grant uh, in the auth token route and you send a post request and these are the parameters so um, obviously this is from an alt test and um, let me just remove some of, the, some of these old values. Uh, so the grant type needs to be set to refresh token. And then the refresh token is uh, the value that you're getting here. So let me copy this over. And uh, this should be it. And finally, the client ID is what we have here. Uh, and that's it. So you need the client ID and the client secret and then the refresh token and that should entitle you to get um, just the same output as here uh, an access token and a refresh token but instead of and you can see that instead of uh, username and password we're sending just one which is refresh token all right so i'm gonna send this and uh, hopefully i'm gonna get um, an access token oh Ah, so there seems to be a problem getting this. So let me just send this request because it's been a while since I recorded the last video and uh, maybe that got stale. Uh, so I'm going to copy this or maybe I just copied the wrong thing, which seems to be the case. I think I copied the access token. Uh, maybe not. Uh, you will know. You have the video to, to check. Um, but uh, again, now if I send this, and it's a good thing that I got that error because that means that the code is working, right? Uh, and this is the, the library underneath working. So it gets us the access token and the refresh token. And if I use this, I copy this here and paste it in here to debug it. Remember, this is our debug route in JSON format. And don't mind this this thing. This is for uh, my uh, PHP Storm environment to debug with it. Uh, so you will see this in many places, uh, but just don't mind it. So you can see that uh, we are still getting from that token that we got from the refresh grant. We're still getting the uh, 
after sending that token in the same user ID with the same roles. Remember that this role we had to pass it in in the initial request here but in the token grant uh, we didn't specify any scope because the refresh token already knows which uh, roles uh, were, were requested initially and it grants the same roles again so uh, it's, uh, it's advised not to use the uh, scope parameter you can use the scope parameter here and list the roles inside of the roles that were granted with the initial token that you want to grant to this new token. Uh, it's a little bit confusing, so if you leave this off, um, it's fine. Uh, in, if not, experiment yourself and, uh, and see what are the, the effects that, that you get. So uh, that's how you refresh your token. So hopefully if you keep this loop uh, alive, and you don't allow the refresh token that gets generated here to expire because now I can just use this refresh token that I got from the refresh token grant and paste it in here and get a new access token and a new refresh token and uh, keep this loop going for forever um, but if at some point the refresh token expires as well you can go back to the password grant or any of the other grants that we will see in, in the future. Thank you, that's it.